Hello y'all and welcome to Young Folk Knits. Today I want to chat about the subject of process knitting versus product knitting. Which knitter are you? How do you know which you are? Can you be both? And why does it matter? Stick around and I'm going to dive down a little bit deeper into this topic. So there's a lot of knitting. I do also share about my sewing, my spinning, and whatever other crafts I might be getting up to. Sometimes I'll also share a bit about life on a small farm here in Arkansas where my husband, myself, and our kids are beekeepers. We love gardens and chickens and spending time outdoors here in the foothills of the Ozarks. So if any of that sounds like it might be your cup of tea, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future video content. Today I have a very specific topic I want to chat a little bit about and it definitely involves knitting. However, I think you could apply this to other crafts as well, definitely. And that is process knitting versus product knitting. I want to talk about what they both mean, how you know which you are, can you be both of them, does it matter which you are? and how that can affect your craft and the choices you make in your craft. And I definitely would love to make this a discussion in the comment section. So I'd be really interested on hearing your thoughts about it. And if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, just how you feel about it. <laughs> so make sure and be kind to each other, but I'd love to see what you think by dropping a comment below. First though, let me tell you what I'm wearing. This is my summer ranunculus. I knit this short sleeve version with a fingering weight yarn held double. And that is the Undine base from Ritual Dyes. And this is a color slate. And I'm actually wearing it with some linen viscose noir bob pants from Blackbird Fabrics. And I will link these patterns in the description. And I also have an entire video about my ranunculus. And I think I chat a lot about this one in, in particular. So I will link that and my project notes on Ravelry so you can see a little bit more about it. So first of all, what is a process knitter? So I've done a lot of reading on the web about this topic and I'm gonna link those sources below because I appreciated their thoughts on it and you might as well but talking about a pure process knitter so just the absolute in this category this is someone who doesn't care what they're knitting as much as that they are knitting. So their actual drive is the love of knitting itself. They love each stitch. They love looking at their yarn. It's all about the act of knitting. When you think of process knitters, you also think of someone who really likes to try new things. They like to try new yarns. They're always looking for new techniques. And it's not really about that finished product. In fact, you may even knit something that you know you won't wear. Gift knitting, that's totally fine with you too. A lot of times process knitters even have multiple projects on the go at once and they don't care. They don't care so much about when they get it finished. They like switching it up and having different projects to work on whenever the mood strikes, whatever it is they fancy in the moment. 
This describes me a lot, especially in previous years. I have multiple times picked a pattern that I thought was beautiful. I thought the stitches looked fun. I thought that the techniques were something I wanted to learn. And I knew that I was not going to wear the finished item because I, one project that comes to mind in particular, they did not even have it that went all the way up to my size range. So I knew I wasn't even gonna be able to fit it on me, <laughs> but I wanted to knit it so badly because I wanted to experience it. I, and I did want the, the finished product in the sense that I wanted to be able to look at it. I even thought I might hang it on my wall as a piece of art. I just really wanted to have the knitting experience from it. So that's something I definitely think of as a process knitter. If you are not new here, you know that I often have many projects on the go. A lot of times I don't finish all of them and that's okay. I currently have a Sterilite plastic container full of project bags with unfinished projects in them that I just randomly will pull out at different times, whatever I'm in the mood for, and knit on something different. So I definitely fall into this category of process knitting. So what's a product knitter? A pure product knitter is someone that it's all about the finished product. They might not even really like the knitting experience during a certain project, but they're willing to do it to get that finished product. Sometimes they prefer quick knit so that they can get that finished product. They may be less likely to try new techniques or possibly even more difficult items, although that's not always the case. If that means it's gonna take longer to finish the item, again, unless it's a product that they really, really want, <laughs> then they'll be willing to do it, even if they don't enjoy the process. They may also knit the same pattern over and over again because they love the way that it fits. They find it to be a very practical and useful finished item. So they will knit that same pattern over and over again. They're also more likely to be monogamous knitters because that means that they are going to more quickly finish their project and get their finished item. Now, I have definitely been in this category before as well. There has been multiple items that I really wanted that finished product. And because of that, I was willing to knit with a yarn that hurt my hands or knit with a pattern that I didn't find interesting. I thought it was a slog, but I was willing to do it because I really wanted that finished item. So wait a minute, didn't I just say I was a process knitter? How does that work? So yes, those are the extreme stereotypes of each of those categories, process knitting and product knitting. I think that as humans, we have this strong desire to understand ourselves. And so we're constantly trying to put labels on everything and to put ourselves into a um, specific category with even like personalities. I know I've been very interested in categorizing my personality before, you know, you take those tests. What personality am I? This is your top. But it's not that simple. Most of us fit into multiple personality types. Most of us fit into both process and product knitter. Also, it can change with time. So why is it even important? Why does it matter? I think that if you can take a look at yourself and how you're feeling in the moment and sort of define, am I wanting something that is more of a process knit? Am I wanting something that's more of a product knit? And you're able to take a look at patterns and 
make a decision that's going to work best for you at that time. One thing I read is that let's say you come across a pattern that you're really interested in. Stop and look at it for a minute. What about it interested you? Is it something that you think would be a really nice addition to your wardrobe? Is it something that you think would fit you really well? Is it something that you're going to be very likely to wear and wear it often? Now you're feeling like a product knitter at the moment. Or was it that you looked at it and you thought, this construction is extremely interesting. That's a technique I've never done before. I want to learn how to do that. Oh, I can knit this in a really fun color and it would just be so much fun to look at while I'm knitting it. Okay, if you answered yes, today you're a process knitter. <laughs> It's not wrong or right to be one or the other. But if you're feeling like a process knitter and you think that you need a product knit though, that could lead to a little bit of frustration. Let's say perhaps you're needing a tee. You really want a staple summer top tee that you can wear in your wardrobe for the rest of the summer but you're a process knitter and you're feeling the process knitting experience at the moment. I think it would be a great idea to pull up a lot of different patterns of that same category of that summer tee. Pull up the ranunculus, pull up the outline tee, pull up the moonset tee. Maybe you also see the Tulsta, the salty air tee the Kutar tee, the Darjeeling blouse, or the Emmanuel tee. These all fit into that summer tee category that could all potentially be great staple pieces for your wardrobe. But what would give you the most enjoyment? Some lace, a straight stockinette, some circular yoke increases, something with a little bit of ribbing and texture. You can really think about that when choosing your pattern. That's gonna make the experience so much more fun and it's gonna make you more likely to actually finish your project. I feel like I definitely fall more into the process knitter. I often knit things just for the heck of it. And then afterwards, I'm left with a lot of knitted pieces that I don't wear because the fit isn't right. The yarn maybe wasn't perfect choice. You know, for whatever the reason, I chose based off of what I wanted to look at, what I wanted it to look like, not based off of what would be the most useful for me and the most practical so that I would actually end up getting a lot of use out of it after the knitting experience is over. And I feel like lately I have definitely been doing a better job of choosing knits that I will actually wear, making sure that I'm taking the time to get a good fit. And maybe it's not the most exciting piece of knitwear, but it's something that I'm really going to get a lot of use out of. And in the end, I find that brings me a lot of joy because I have the happiness of not just the mo in the moment while I'm knitting it, but every time I put it on, I love it. I'm happy. I'm happy I made it after the fact. So I think it's a really great idea if you can try to blend the two together. That being said, this is a craft. This is a hobby. In the end, you do you. You do whatever it is you want to do. If you want to knit something that you know you're never going to wear, knit it. I've done it. I've done it multiple times. If you want to knit something that you hate every second of it, but you're going to absolutely wear it every day, do it. Hey, I support you. <laughs> You are the boss of your own making. <laughs> Take all of this with a grain of salt. I do think that it is a very interesting topic though. And like I said before, I do think that we're always trying to figure ourselves out. And so because of that, I think most people are very interested in self-examination and self-awareness, self-understanding. I also think that depending on what you're going through day by day, your circumstances, your life, your hormones, <laughs> you may be one type of knitter one day and you may be a different type of knitter the next day. And like I said before, that's okay too. I kind of like to have a process knit and a product knit and I 
often find that I have both. And that way, I am going to get something that is going to be used and I'm going to wear, but I'm also enjoying the process of knitting something. And I usually have multiples of both, but I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better about maybe even just having one of each. Ultimate goal, highest playing, is whenever you can have a product knit that the process is everything. Ugh, the stars align. <laughs> everything is wonderful that is our goal right that's what we all aim for so whenever one of those patterns comes along and everything is just perfect for you it's magic it's wonderful <laughs> and that's why we keep doing it so I definitely recommend really looking at your pattern options before starting and no is this a life and death situation absolutely not but especially if your resources are very valuable, your time, your yarn, it's not something that you just have endless quantities of either, then each project is precious. Because of that, I definitely recommend looking at your pattern choices and thinking about it for a minute before you start. What do I need? What will I enjoy? Whenever you decide what it is that you need, look at an array of patterns that fit into that category and see if you can find one that will give you a little bit of both. Now, when it comes to sewing, I am an absolute product sewer. I have told y'all this so many times and I think a lot of y'all find it hilarious because I sew a lot, but I hate every second of it. I am not someone who enjoys sewing. It is all about the finished product, but I love the finished product. Whenever I get a sewn item that fits me and I love the material and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to wear this all the time. It brings me so much joy that I'm willing to suffer through the process of sewing. And honestly, it doesn't really matter what pattern I don't enjoy it. <laughs> the best thing I've found is like these bob pants that I'm wearing. It is quick and it's easy and I love the finished item. So that to me is the closest I can get <laughs> to, you know, having a mesh of the best of both worlds. And that's what I'm saying about the knitting as well. You know, do what you can to make it work. Do what you can to get the most enjoyment out of the experience and get the best finished product that you can in the end. All right, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future content. I appreciate y'all being here so much. And as always, I love reading the messages that you leave for me. I'd love to hear what you're knitting this week is it a process knit or is it a product knit? Think about it, figure it out, and let me know in the comments if you feel like it. Until next time, happy knitting y'all.